Yo guys, what is that? Welcome to another video. Okay, in this one we're just going to be going over the next part of the tank bot um, build update. So this is where we're at now. In, well, in the last video we had a, one of these things break. This is the, the wheel the wheel top mount. Um, so since then I've redesigned these parts and I printed some out with 100% infill and they are really, really strong. Um, also, I've had some laser cut aluminium for here, these parts. So they've all been cut. I got four of these to go on the top of each one. And also, we've incorporated some kind of suspension system into the design. So the biggest change is probably, firstly, we've got this 2040 extrusion going underneath. This goes underneath the whole whole of the chassis. And then we've got these suspension adapters, which slide on over the shaft and they bolt on in four places. Then we've got these wheel mount connectors. So there's two of them for each wheel mount. And then on top we've got these suspension link brackets. And then we've got these, uh, what would you call it? Um, force diverter? No, not force diverter. Um, well, it could be, yeah. So anyway, so this wheel part, this whole section, all that tilts up on this axis here. So that'll rotate upwards, meaning this pin here will be going like that way. And that will rotate this part like so. And that will push onto the suspension, well, the um, <coughs> spring damper. So I'm going to be using bike suspension. They're rated quite high, but I think depending on how these holes are spaced on here, we can use leverage to adjust the spring rate. Well, not the spring rate, the um, absorbent force, perhaps. I don't, I don't know what you'd call it. <clears throat> so anyway, yep, that, that's it for the changes for the design, and now we'll go over to the model. Okay, so here we are, back on the desk. Right, so this is a partially assembled um, front end with prototype parts. So as you can see, we've got white, red, you know, these are all like 20% infill, just to make sure everything lines up okay. So as you can see, we've got bearings in each of these. We're using eight bearings in this part all together. And we're using these swivel swivel joints here. They are too long, I'm gonna have to cut these down or get smaller ones, but for now, it's okay. And we've got these parts. They're force diverters, which will connect like that, kind of. But again, I need to cut about 15 mil off each one. And then, Yep, then we're gonna have some more frame coming up here and across, and then that'll support these, and then two springs further down. So here is one of the parts with the laser cut aluminium. I mean, it's quite nice, nice and shiny. And then here is another one without the bracket on top and all the bolts. So it's a good fit. I mean, the, the cut isn't perfect, I need to smoothing it out a little bit. But yeah, they're cheap and they're quite strong too. So, four of them. It's good. And that was loud. Right, just for comparison, just so you can see how much better the new one of these is compared to the old one of these that broke. So, just turn on the scales. So I'm pretty confident that with these new wheel mounts we can do exactly what we did last week in the skate park without any problems. Right, so 37 grams. Okay. And 157 grams. Okay. So it's like five times more plastic. So you could say maybe five times stronger, perhaps. The only real way to find out is to get an older one of these, one 
and the spare ones that I'm going to be replacing. Um, screw down on the desk, see how much weight it can support before it snaps, and then do the same with one of these 100% ones. You know, I don't really want to because it's such a waste of plastic, but I think for research it's okay. Right, so anyway, that's how far we've got so far. Um, I'm probably going to be looking at a test video, maybe in probably a couple of weeks. And when we're doing that, it, it's going to have suspension, it's going to have four-wheel drive, and it's going to have four-wheel steering. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. And if you like these update videos, make sure you like this one. And that's it. See you on the next one.